and welcome back to another video tutorial from our lecture series on industrial microbiology. So far we have discussed the industrial production of citric acid, ethanol and butanol. And today the product that we are going to discuss is the production of penicillin. So first let us go through its introduction a bit. Penicillin was the first antibiotic to be discovered by Alexander Fleming on 3rd September 1928. It was accidentally discovered by Fleming while he was working with the culture of Staphylococcus aureus. He saw some contaminated molds growing around the Staphylococcus aureus culture which was later known to be the penicillin. Although Fleming discovered penicillin, he did not know the role and the function of penicillin. The applications as an antibiotic were demonstrated by Sir Howard Florey with Ernst Chain. Clutterbuck demonstrated the chemical nature of penicillin and found it to be an organic acid. As penicillin gained more importance and popularity as an antibiotic, it, its demands increased. But in the earlier days, large-scale production were not available, the processes were not known, the pilot-scale production and extraction was demonstrated by Chain and his colleagues. Penicillin was known to be the miracle drug during World War II, which helped in healing the injured armies who were a part of the World War II fight. One fact about antibiotics is that it is produced by the microorganism as a secondary metabolite during their stationary phase. That is, when the microbial population is at a stable phase, antibiotics are being produced as an secondary metabolite. One thing that I would like to discuss is the mode of action of penicillin okay penicillin we know has an antimicrobial activity and how does it work it inhibits the cell wall synthesis of gram positive bacteria by hindering the peptidoglycan synthesis okay and Penicillin is a bacteriostatic antibiotic. Keep that in mind. Okay. Now we will discuss the structure of penicillin. And here I have given you a picture of the basic structure of penicillin which is the natural penicillin. It consists of a thiazolidin ring condensed with the beta lactam ring. This beta lactam ring is the crucial part of penicillin as this part confers the antimicrobial activity to penicillin. Okay. The side chain of penicillin varies with the variety of penicillin. Okay. Now next we move on to the production process. And the first thing that we will discuss of fermentation process is what microorganisms are used for its production. Penicillium notatum and penicillium chrysogenum is the widely used microorganism for penicillin production. Now we will discuss the inoculum preparation that is how these microorganisms are used for the production of penicillin. Spores of penicillium are taken from heavily sporulated working stock, okay? And then these spores are diluted in water or other non-toxic wetting agents. Understood? These spores are then added to flask containing wheat bran and nutrient solution for heavy sporulation. Okay, the production... The fermentation process of penicillin is a 
compulsorily aerobic process that is it requires oxygen for its fermentation okay next we move on to the fermentation process requirements for penicillin production the method that is used is either fed batch or batch fermentation okay the medium that is used for the production of penicillin consists of carbon sources and nitrogen sources the carbon sources include lactose which is the most preferred one and glucose phenoxyacetic acid is the com component that is used for the production of side chain as i told you variety of penicillin consists of variety side chains like the the side chain will decide what penicillin will be produced so according to it the component will be added okay nitrogen source includes csl that is corn stip liquor soya meal or yeast extract or whey lactic acid <coughs> sorry inorganic ions and growth factors okay next is the kind of fermenter that is used for the production and generally stirred tank or air lift tank is used because as i said earlier production of penicillin is a aerobic process hence agitation is continuously required for the production of penicillin okay the ph of the medium is set at 5.5 to 6 which increases up to 7.5 okay and why does the ph increases due to liberation of ammonium gas and consumption of lactic acid now as the production is going the like we studied in inoculum preparation okay the spores are diluted in water then the spores are incubated for 5 to 7 days at 24 degree celsius here the ph is kept at 5.5 to 6 which will increase up to 7.5 as the mycelial growth increases the spores are consuming lactic acid oxygen is being required for the production of penicillin which increases the ph now if the ph reaches 8 or crosses 8 some calcium carbonate or magnesium carbonate is added to neutralize like to decrease the ph okay temperature i told you should be around 25 to 27 degree celsius okay aeration is required at a rate of 0.5 to 1 vvm vvm i have discussed earlier that is volume of air under standard conditions per volume of liquid per minute okay the agitation rate that is required is around 120 to 150 rpm fermentation of penicillin requires around 7 days it takes around 7 days for proper growth anti foaming agents that are used is edible oil up to 0.25% okay here i have summarized the entire production of penicillin in a chart form so now i'll explain this culture of which microorganism are we using penicillium so culture of penicillium is taken which is then added into a shaker flask like we said the spores are taken and then diluted in water okay after it is added in a shaker flask 
it is transferred to a transfer vessel where heavy spodulation will take place after the heavy spodulation the spores will be transferred to a seed tank where it will germinate more where it will sporulate more here after the sporulation has achieved a certain level it is transferred to the fermentation tank now this fermentation tank requirements we have studied that the tank should be either a stirred reactor or a airlift it should have agitation okay after the spores are being fermented in the fermentation tank it is transferred to a rotary filter and from here first extraction of the broth will take place the fermentation broth which consists of the spores will take place okay the fermentation broth will be extracted and will flow into the purification column from purification column the broth will pass through second and third extractor after passing through this two extractors it will enter a vacuum from where the aqueous phase will come out and will enter into a ceramic filter now we have reached the product recovery process okay we have reached the product recovery process so first let me explain you and then i'll again come back to this diagram how product recovery takes place so first we are harvesting the broth from fermenter tank okay in the diagram i'll i'll again explain you the harvesting broth is the broth is harvested from fermenter tank by filtration using rotary vacuum filter filtration okay now this broth is chilled to 5 to 10 degrees celsius because why do we need the broth to be chilled because penicillin is a highly reactive compound and it can be destroyed by the alkali and enzymes action next we will acidify the broth to 2.5 ph with h2so4 with sulfuric acid will acidify the broth to convert our penicillin into its anionic form okay will convert the penicillin into its anionic form next we will be extracting this broth from our aqueous filtrate into butyl acetate or amyl acetate okay at this low ph we saw the ph is at around 2.5 pm at this ph as soon as it is possible the broth has to be centrifuged in a counter current extractor okay the broth has to be centrifuged in a counter current extractor after centrifugation the aqueous fraction will be discarded the aqueous fraction will be discarded the organic solvent that we got after centrifugation is passed through charcoal to remove any kind of impurities and now we will extract penicillin from butyl acetate how do we extract it we will use 2% 2% of aqueous potassium buffer okay we will recover penicillin from butyl acetate by adding 2% of aqueous potassium buffer at a ph of 7.5 next this aqueous fraction will be acidified okay 
this aqueous fraction will be acidified to a pH of 2.5 with mineral acid and again penicillin will be re-extracted into fresh butyl acetate okay this penicillin will be re-extracted into fresh butyl acetate now to this we will add potassium acetate adding of potassium acetate will crystallize our penicillin into potassium salts okay adding potassium acetate will convert our penicillin as potassium salt will crystallize the penicillin as potassium salt now we can recover this potassium salt crystals in filter centrifuge okay after this centrifugation the crystals will be sterilized sterilization is followed by further processing and packaging and finally we have recovered our penicillin now i'll go back to the diagram again and explain so here what did we see that the broth is harvested from fermentation tank by filtration using rotary filter right this broth is then passed into first extractor which then is transferred into a purification column from purification column the broth passes through two extractors right and then it is again vacuum filtered right it is again vacuum filtered now this broth we will pass it through ceramic filter in this ceramic filter we will add our what potassium acetate okay we will add our potassium acetate so that our penicillin crystals will be converted into potassium salt this crystal then comes into the crystal wash and it will be passed into ceramic filter again after coming into the ceramic filter the crystal or the salt is passed through vacuum dryer why to soak out any moisture present in the salt finally we get crystalline potassium this crystalline potassium is then sterilized and finally our penicillin is recovered which is after further processing and packaging is released in the market so here we come to the end of our today's lecture i hope i have been able to make you understand the industrial production of penicillin if you have any doubts please comment down in the comment section and we will get back to you if you like this video please share it with your friends family like the video and subscribe to our channel thank you